Hao Kwakwanso has decided to withdraw from Tinumbu's government of national unity. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. Rabiu Musa Kwakwanso, the former governor of Kano State, has decided to withdraw from the proposed government of national unity led by President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. The new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, to which Kwakwanso belongs, has cited several reasons for this decision. This includes concerns about the involvement of individuals with corruption allegations and what they perceive as anti-people policies of the government. The NNPC has also resolved to provide opposition to the ruling All Progressive Congress APC. The party has carefully reviewed its relationship with the Tinubu led government and has decided not to be a part of it. They believe that the government's actions and policies are at odds with the party's philosophies and goals. Additionally, the NNPP is concerned about the presence of individuals with corruption allegations which contradicts the party's values. Prior to the release of ministerial nominees, there were reports of Tinumbu's plan to form a government of national unity by including opposition parties. Now let's take some comments. The first commenter said, Simply put, it cannot work in government whose party's national chairman is Ganduje. Another said, Kwakwanso has no character. He is power drunk and unsteady. Another said, Kwakwanso is very proud, pompous, and his pomposity is well rooted in his blood. You claim someone is corrupt. I ask you, were you not also a product of corruption too? Make it known to public your industry in Nigeria or valuable and verifiable companies you established. Apart from politics, can you survive? No. Let it be known to you, Kokanso, that your pride pomposity can never help your ambition of becoming president of this nation. And your Lone Ranger political activities will take you to nowhere. Rather, total political disgrace and disappointment. Another said, the truth is, if the man Kwakwanso has shown ego and worked with the Labour Party, the president will have reached him through there. Another said, all Igbo indigenes are running out of the entire East because of the killings among the Igbos. Igbos should stop interfering in another state affairs. Mm, no comment is that. Okay. Another said, Kwakwanso should allow the sleeping dogs to lie. You that live in a glass house, don't throw stones. Even him, Kwakwanso is corrupt. And no, as another said, I know if Obi-Wan, he would have imported angels to work with him as he did in Anambra State. Anambra today is competing with Paris. Did Kwakwanso deliver to Tinumbu? On what ground would Kwakwanso would have been made a minister? Besides, only Igbo's writers would also be saying trash. Another said, Kwakwanso expected Tinumbu to nominate him as one of his ministers, but was disappointed and now he chooses to black out. If I may ask, what has he contributed to APC like Wiki and Makinde? Another commenter said, Tinobu's government is a product of corruption and can only attract corrupt individuals. Another said, it should have been included in the appointment of ministers before issuing these worthless political talks. Another said, he has never been part of Tinobu's government. Another said, because they did not appoint you as one of the ministers, it can't repay you. Another said, a man who can only win elections in Kano, what really is his problem? Maybe his name did not appear on the list of ministers. Another said, he and his party are perfectly free to choose who to or not to work with. Tinumbu's administration is also free to replace those who don't share the administration's vision. We always try to make a mountain out of a more ill. Um, another says, stupid and arrogant people, where will you see a totally clean political individual in this entire Africa? Even in the world, we heard of so many cases of allegations, even against American president and their family members. Has that debarred them from ruling? Ganduji may have his flaws, but he's still a human being that can be managed, so to say. Even God forgives those he wants to use. If he doesn't do that, where would he get a saint to make the change in this perverse world? Another commenter said, mm, Now, wow, how can the person who chopped the whole of people's pension money before leaving the government house as governor now complaining that he cannot work with the corrupt government? Another said, Kwa Kwanso 
should do away with politics of bitterness and embrace peace because of the political future. That is, micro-political party will take him nowhere, especially if he has somewhere to go in 2031. Another said, rubbish, continue now, always going after government of the day, whether good or bad. Another said, there's a saying in Yoruba language, ti e jaba fe baje, la tori lutin baje, meaning, the decaying of a fish begins from its head. That is, if the leader of APC is corrupt, that is an indication that the entire APC is corrupt. Therefore, identifying oneself with it means one is also corrupt. Another said, very stupid, Musa Kwakwansu is looking for shortcut to power. Grandula has upper hands, ends the idiots trying to change the stories. Another said, but who exactly is not cor corrupt among them all? Another said, who does not know that all this politicking, what they, they do, all of them, they fight for their own pockets. Another said, no matter how the Igbos and Obedios condemn Tinobu's government, Tinobu still remains Nigeria's president and is globally acceptable. Another said, after all of you provided the opportunity for Tinobu to rig his way to power. Another said, Kwakwanso has already soiled his hands and dented his image beyond repairs for working with Tinobu so early after elections. Even while court processes are still on, his party chairman are already even moving to sack him from the party he hijacked brazenly from the founders. Tinobu is a beautifully and dirtily crafted deal man and gagua. Part of his reason for engulfment of the falling Kwan Kwasu was to have ANPP and Kano voters on his side in case of a rerun. That Tinobu's general game plan, as he also wooed supporters from the opposition with promise of juicy appointments. So far, Ganduje Utinobu is affected by warming up to his enemy as triumphed. Tinobu is dangerous though. Another said, he didn't decide, but he never deserved to be there. Another said, show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. Another said, NNP, NNPP be like say the Amumu don't do. There was once carried away by the early material things, leaving good name behind. Another said, I have not seen anyone with good record in Tinobu's team. Gathering of thieves and rogues. Another said, this is very good for Kwa Kwan So. You felt too, you felt you are too big to be Peter Obi's vice president. You romanced with Tinobu, the drug baron. Now you're disappointed he didn't pick you as minister. All right, so those are some of the comments at the moment that we can take about um, Kwa Kwan So and his party categorically saying that the reason they've decided to withdraw from Tinobu's government of national unity. It's been known of how Kwa Kwan So decided to romance Bola Met Tinobu immediately. He was sworn in as the president of Nigeria on the 29th of May 2023. We saw videos and pictures of him being in Asso Rock, you know, where they had meetings. And at that point, Ganduji, who has just been made the APC national chairman a few hours ago, was livid with rage. And he said that if he had met Kwa Kwan So there, he would have slapped him. And Kwa Kwan So, on the other hand, said that there were so many things that um, he discussed with Tinumbu that um, Ganduje did, and Tinumbu was disappointed. Now, from what we can see so far, and of course, um, Kwa Kwan So's name is not on the ministerial list because all the um, numbers are completed at the moment. So it's now obvious that Ganduje has won with his upper hand. Nobody can take away the fact that Ganduje was the one that really worked for Ashwaji Bola met Tinumbu's um, electioneering process from the beginning of the campaign. He was going to places, to all the states that Bola met Tinumbu had um, campaign and all of that. And even the issue of cashless policy where some governors led by El Rufai went to court. Ganduje also joined the other states who sued the federal government about the fact that the cashless policy should be done in another form where the old and the new currency should be used alongside. And finally, the court rules that um, both the new and the old currency should be used till the end of December 2023, where the old currency can now find its way out of the circulation, while Nigeria is in easily into the um, new Naira design. Now that um, Kwa Kwansu has taken a step back, 
You know, it's just funny how the political terrain works. You know, nothing is permanent. Anything can change at any point in time. And that's what we've just seen now with people questioning the list of the ministers. The, that's the kitchen members of Bola Metinubu's administration to say, why are people here full of um, people that have issues with corruption, um, allegations of corruptions rather, and um, questionable character in court, um, though a lot of them have not been indicted in the court of law, as in the case of this Ganduje, um, who was supposed to, you know, face like a panel um, in Kano State, but that was later truncated, which were in Nigeria. What's your opinion on this? Please drop it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to please like, share and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. May God bless Nigeria. Thank you very much and bye for now.